Alright Graphics One, this is your next little thing to do. On your desktop you should see a folder that you should have downloaded or Mr. Pronto should have downloaded for you called Adidas Logo. So what you're going to do is you're going to open that up and open up the Adidas Logo. And what we're going to do is we're going to make these or make this logo rather with very simple shapes. You're going to use your ellipse tool I'm going to show you something new in the pen tool called Convert Anchor Point. And I'm going to show you something new on the window called Pathfinder. Very simple. Alright, so the first thing first. I want you to just click on your shape tool and pick ellipse. And you're going to draw an oval as wide as the first shape. Come down here. Get rid of the fill, and I want you to make this shape the exact length, all right, like that. Now, you're going to click and hold your pen tool, and you're going to select Convert Anchor Point. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to click right on this point. Oops, I missed. Notice what it did. It's going to make my oval a pointy oval. Now I'm going to take my direct selection tool and I'm just going to maneuver my points so that they fit. All right. It's slightly off. Okay. So if I wanted to I could tweak my handles. Like this. like that and then you would have <clears throat> your first shape not exactly symmetrical so I'm gonna do that again all right so I'm just gonna go with that one now the next oval I'm just gonna copy this one move it over rotate it I'm gonna make sure that there's a slight overlap here, and then I'm going to just shrink down my oval, and if I have to use my white arrow, my direct selection tool, I'm going to. Like that. Now, like I said, I want there to be a slight overlap, so I'm just going to nudge this over with my arrow key a couple times. Now, I'm going to copy this one. Then I'm going to go to Object, Arrange, I'm sorry, Transform, Reflect, Vertical, 90, OK. And I'm going to move this one to where I need it to go. Overlap it slightly. If I need to adjust my shape a little bit with my Direct Selection tool, I will do that. Nudge it back over a little bit. Just like that. Now, I need to make sure my three shapes here are even, so I'm going to highlight them all with my selection tool. And up top here, in my align buttons, I want to hit vertical align bottom. So now, all of my shapes are even along the bottom. So I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to leave them outlined like that. Notice that there are no fill on my shapes, so make sure you do that. The next thing I need to do is draw my rectangles. So I'm basically going to draw one rectangle here. I'm going to copy it. Notice no fill so I can see through and see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to select all three of my shapes back up here to my alignment. I'm going to make sure that they are vertically or horizontally aligned to the center. Now, here's where the new thing comes in, Pathfinder. So in the window, I'm going to go to Pathfinder. I'm going to move this right here so I can show it to you. So the first thing you're going to do is highlight the three ovals. And this button right here is called Add to Shape Area. 
So you're just going to hold down your option button and click. And what that did is it morphed or merged all three of the ovals. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to highlight the three triangles and option click the same add to shape area button. So now the three rectangles are exactly the same shape. And you're going to highlight everything. Come back up here. Now, we're not going to add to shape. We're going to come to this next one called subtract from shape. Hold down our option button. And there you go. There is your Adidas logo. If I take away the eye on my layer one, there is your Adidas logo. Quite simple. And I did it in five minutes and 40 something seconds while I was explaining it to you. So what can you do now? Well, now you can click on the shape and you can start changing the color. You want to take away the stroke, that's fine. You want to make it red, that's fine. Now you can see it's not exactly perfect, but who's going to be able to tell? All right. I think it's pretty good for a quick five minute thing. You want to be perfect at it, you can use your convert anchor point direct selection tool and make this width of your oval better. Now, as far as the text goes, you could just click type Adidas. Now, I don't, I'm not sure what exactly that font is, but if you wanted to look through your fonts and try and find one that works, let me try, I'm going to try Arial here. Let me see what Arial looks like. No. You can see that the, the A is very distinct, so I'm going to have to look for something that looks like that. Not sure I really have anything that looks like the Adidas font, so I'm going to just pick one that's very similar. While I'm looking, let's see, Century God. Oh, that's close, Century Gothic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm just going to make it bold. Stretch it out a little bit. Condense it. You can even type that little registration logo by typing, holding down your option button and typing R at the same time makes that little registration logo. Now you hide your eye, and there you go. All right, so I'm just gonna Command G, group that together, hold down my Shift button, select both shapes, and up here, I can horizontally align center. Ooh, hold on. So now, there we go. So now my shape is perfectly centered with my text. And that, my friends, is how you do this Adidas logo.